going to do this tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Defiant and steadfast right now at noon, the owner of a Camden County gym vows to stay open despite facing new fines for violating the state's shutdown order. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. Welcome to CBS 3 Eyewitness News at noon, now streaming live on CBS and Philly. This is a picture from outside of the Atlas Gym in Belmar. The gym is open for a second day, once again defying New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy's stay-at-home order. As R. Trang Do tells us, the owners say they are hoping to be an inspiration to other businesses forced to keep their doors shut. Attila's gym opened its doors again Tuesday to a smaller but still vocal crowd. A day after a visit from the Belmar Police Department. Officers issued disorderly person citations to the gym's owners for violating Governor Phil Murphy's stay at home orders. The owners say they remain steadfast in their decision to stay open no matter the consequences. Any legal consequences that we face, we'll all face together as well. Once again, gym members lined up to support, despite a new system of operating that includes temperature checks at the door, a mask requirement, and a health questionnaire. We all want to work out, and there's a, there's a safe way to do it, and, and he's doing it in there, and it's time to get back to normal. Monday, Governor Murphy had a stern response for the gym and anyone else thinking about defying his order. These aren't just words. We've got to enforce this, but I also don't want to start World War III. But Attila's co-owner, Frank Trombelli, remains undeterred and says he hopes other small businesses follow his gym's example. He can do whatever he wants. I'm going to do this tomorrow and the next day and the next day. A friend of the gym's owners has started a defense fund to go toward any legal bills they or their members may incur. In less than a day, supporters donated more than $17,000. From Belmar, Camden County, I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.